It's Star Wars Day! We are so excited to be celebrating May 4th here on Galaxy's Edge. We are going to check out some of the exclusive merch they have for today, including the Cal Kestis Limited Edition Legacy Lightsaber. Come join us on our galactic adventure! I just got out of Doc Ander's Deck of Antiquities. I was in line for about a couple of hours to get in, but let's go ahead and look at some of the May 4th merch that just came out today. First off, we have the Wayfinder. We didn't even know they were coming out with this today, but one of the cast members was showing it while I was still waiting in line, and I'm like, where is that? I need one right now. It's so cool. With this one, you can use any of the kyber crystals they sell here, and all you have to do is just tap it on the side, and it'll have somebody talking out of the speaker right here, depending on which kyber you use. It's beautiful. At Doc Onders, they just released this new lightsaber stand, which I love. It is so in-world compared to the stands they had before. They also come with attachments for kyber crystals that attach on the side. You can have up to 11 of them. And what's neat is you can see it has a charging cable. In all four corners, there are some LED lights that will light up. I'm going to put my Sabi's hilt in here. And then we have our crafted core kyber crystals that I'm going to display and it's going to look beautiful. The big item for today is the Cal Kestis Limited Edition Legacy Lightsaber. In this massive box that weighs a ton, oh my god. Um, I'm not going to open it up, we are going to do an unboxing video, but we ran into and made a new friend, John, who let us handle his and take a look at it. So this is a new Cal Kestis Legacy Lightsaber Blade. Only 7,500 of these have been made. This is John's, he's just letting us see it, but it is <laughs> absolutely beautiful. And we'll do an unboxing of ours for the channel. Thank you, John. No problem. We're over here at the Stage One Company store for the May the 4th exclusive merch. They have the May 4th graphic tee, which is this really beautiful gray shirt with the Cantina logo on the back. The May the 4th fashion t-shirt espresso shot glasses themed after different places in the Star Wars galaxy. The mugs as well, which are the Been There series. They had Coruscant, Jakku, and Mustafar. And of course the Cal Kestis Blade was in there as well. Let's go ahead and show you guys what we ended up picking up though. So I did all of the shopping inside of the store because Estella was a trooper and stood out at Doc Ondar. So this is her first time seeing it. Let's see the shirt, babe. Oh. What do you think? It's so cool. I love it. So mm -hmm. all these are drinks you can actually get in Ogus Cantina, which is really cool. This is really cute. I like this because it's, it's low-key Star Wars in the front. So unless you know, you wouldn't know. It's just some food. And then on the back, we have Star Wars Day, May the 4th be with you 2023. Very pretty. I also had to pick up this little cute hat with Greedo on it. That's so cute. I've kind of been on the hunt for some hats and I have a really hard time finding ones I like. And this one seemed really cool. So let's try it on. Oh, I like it though. Can you tell that I like Star Wars? It's so cute. His little cute? eyes peeking over. There we go. Now I can go to Galaxy Sedge in style. I had to get that Jakku mug as soon as I saw it. This is from the Been There series, Star Wars collection at Galaxy Sedge. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. How cool is that? We have Ray with uh, BB-8. Ray some and her sand people over there. Oh, there we go. Ray and uh, Finn running from some fighters there. And then all the way around, we have Jakku. I'm going to be drinking some coffee. Very happy tomorrow. Of course, the dark side in me had to have the Mustafar mug. And this is my first time looking at it. And it is so awesome. You have Vader with his palace there. You have the Obi-Wan and Anakin duel on Mustafar. My heart is breaking. Mm -hmm. And around the side, you have some of the droids with the lava, Vader inside of his meditation chamber. And then on the other side, you have the actual planet itself. So basically in the morning, you can drink your coffee and harness the power of the dark side, right? This is me before I have my coffee, so I am the dark side. <laughs> We are back in Batu for nighttime. And we have the lightsaber meetup coming up tonight. Yep. 
but we thought we would just come around and enjoy some more of the ambiance here in Galaxy's Edge. It is crowded. It really is. We just did a photo op, which I hadn't seen before. It had us holding a hologram of something. Yep, can't wait to see what that is. We'll plug it in here. You guys know how much we like taking photos and sharing them with you all so you can see what you can do. As you can see, like we said, it's really crowded. There's a crowd by the Falcon. I think we have some stormtroopers out over there. But everyone's already here lining up, I think, for the lightsaber meetup soon. It must be that. I mean, honestly, I don't I don't see like, I mean, I see a lot of lightsabers, but not everyone has one. I think it's just fans. I think one of my favorite things about being here on Star Wars Day is all the cool cosplays of people walking around in bounds. We saw some cool Kylo Ren's, everybody out with their lightsabers. And it is a ton of fun and is the best day to come out and play. We have Vi Marathi hanging out up top with her data pad, observing the locals, making sure nothing is going wrong. Oh, I think she's coming down. That was cool. Love it. Those were some crazy lightsaber skills. I know, he had a really good moves. I mean, a lot of control over even something like a double blade because it's actually really hard to do. Yeah. That was pretty cool. In the air like that, it was like, no, don't drop it. I know. <laughs> this is insane. The lightsabers are making their way out. It is so crowded here on Batu. So many people. It's insane, I've never seen it like this before. I love it. I love when fans just come together and unite over one one thing that they really love. I know. The energy is, is palpable and it's contagious and it just, it it's awesome. I can't wait for the lightsaber meetup. It's gonna be insane. It is, it's gonna be a whole lot of people. Another awesome item they released for May the 4th here is the Light Up Acid Spitter, which is a cool refillable mug. You can buy and fill it up with your soda, but it's so in world and a great way to just hang around and drink some of your drinks on Galaxy's Edge or even sit down in Oga's Cantina and really role play and be themed. Oh, and it lights up purple, which is really cool. The lightsaber meetup is starting here in front of the TIE Fighter and everybody's already getting in line, which is really cool. So lineup starting at 9.45. Yep, 9.45 by the TIE Fighter and the refreshments and then pictures start right here at 10. So we'll see how it goes. And then we'll be marching over to the Millennium Falcon for more photos. I'm yep. excited. Me too. It's our first big lightsaber meetup. So we came prepared with our sabers as well. What color's yours? Wait, hold on. What color do you guys think Estella's saber is going to be? Leave a comment. All right, ignite it. Oh, <laughs> she's supporting the light side with green. Always. All right, shall we get in line? Let's do it. All right, we're in line and it's just so cool because I don't think I've ever seen so many lightsabers in Galaxy's Edge before. It's a sea of colorful lightsabers. Everyone's headed down to get into line and all you see are just like colors everywhere, red, yellow, purple. I can't wait to see them all lit up tonight. It's going to be so much fun. All right, and now Jacqueline's going to show off her saber. What color do you guys think hers? Is. I don't think you're gonna guess. Reveal. <gasps> blue. It's blue. You're supporting the light side? It's not red today. <laughs> you know, this is my training saber from the Halcyon that I love so much. So, you know, when you're in training, maybe you just don't know what side you're representing yet. And I'll have to get a red Kyber crystal one day. The group in front of us is in front of the tie. They are breaking up everybody into groups of 150. Oh, man. And then 300, right? To For go the Millennium us. Falcon, yeah. yeah. Very, very cool. They're super organized. Very organized. The cast members have been great. It's just very well done, very well put together. The lightsaber meetup was so much fun. It was a blast. There was the largest turnout, they were saying, than ever. And I didn't think about it. It's a uh, big reason is because annual passes are back. So, so many more people got to come out this year and we met so many amazing people and everybody just had a fantastic time. We got photos in front of the um, Thai Echelon and the Millennium Falcon. 
Yep, which had the bigger group. So it was cool seeing a group of like 300 just Star Wars fans cheering and having fun and posing with their sabers. It was so cool. They had four groups of almost 300. So I think the turnout was probably about 1,100 people. Which is insane. It's mind blowing. We had an amazing Star Wars day and hope you guys had a blast coming along with us. We were so happy to actually be here on May 4th now that we live here in Orlando. Everything was just amazing today. The vibe was electrifying. The merch was so cool. Calcas's lightsaber is next level. And honestly, right now, I just can't wait for next year. So excited. And everybody we met was so sweet. Star Wars has a special place in my heart. And every time we're here, it only grows. If you enjoyed hanging out with us, make sure to come along for more of our adventures here in Galaxy's Edge and Walt Disney World. We'll see you there.